a surprising development has seemingly occurred to the Dylan White Joseph Parker undercard because yesterday and earlier today there were reports circulating which have now been confirmed that Kel Brook had withdrawn from the card due to injury. Well, no sooner had that news been announced that this video here appeared on Twitter and has been retweeted a number of times and it appears to show an advert for the White Parker pay-per-view on Sky and listed among the fighters set to be on the undercard is Chris Eubank Jr. Now, we all know that Chris Eubank Jr. and his dad Sr. had a somewhat acrimonious split with their former promoter or co-promoter business associate, Eddie Hearn. Now, Eddie Hearn never closed the door to working with Eubank Jr. again completely. Eddie Hearn is a pragmatic man and he prefers not to get personal because getting personal can get in the way of making money. So this appears to be, if this is legit, an example of Eddie Hearn <laughs> letting it, letting bygones be bygones and letting water flow under the bridge in pursuit of making money together. Now, obviously the speculation is if Chris Eubank Jr. is fighting on this bill, who is he going to be fighting? And what kind of relationship has he now got with Eddie Hearn? Is he signed to Hearn again? Has he parted ways with his dad? Uh, will he just be fighting a tune-up? Is it going to be a legitimate fight? Will it be a world title fight? I mean, there are all kinds of questions flying around at the moment. I think the most obvious theory, if you want to call it that, or possibility would be a fight against John Ryder because John Ryder in recent weeks has been talking about fighting Chris Eubank Jr. But a lot of people assumed that Eubank Jr. versus John Ryder, if it were to happen, would take place on the undercard of the World Boxing Super Series final because Eubank Jr. is contractually obligated to be a stand-in for the World Boxing Super Series final. So I'm not sure if his contractual obligations to the World Boxing Super Series would conflict with him appearing on this particular show on the White Parker undercard. I don't know. But be that as it may, he appears to be on the show. If any of you who have, ac have actually seen this Sky Sports advert, please maybe post a link in the description below to somewhere where Sky might have uh, uploaded it or just tell me if you've seen it yourself if you're a sky subscriber have you seen this advert yourself so yeah john Ryder, i think would be a realistic candidate for this fight because john Ryder is a matchroom fighter anyway and you know some people were saying that the white parker the white parker card was in trouble because kel brook pulled out with an injury but who the hell was really looking forward to seeing Kel Brook fight Brandon Cook? To me, that was neither here nor there. If Kel Brook had been fighting in a world title fight or fighting somebody significant, then yeah, it would have been an issue. But he was fighting Brandon Cook, a nobody. You know, no disrespect to him, but he's a nobody in world boxing. Nobody really cares if Kel Brook pulls out when he was only going to fight Brandon Cook. Now, <laughs> let me contradict myself a little bit the casuals would obviously care and it is the casuals who are going to be buying the pay-per-view for the most part okay because casuals constitute the majority of all pay-per-view buyers right that's just the reality of the situation hardcore boxing fans are, are a minority so while hardcore boxing fans might buy a big pay-per-view <laughs> the majority of people are still going to be casuals buying it that's just the way it goes. Uh, but as I say, Eubank, if he's fighting John Ryder, to me, that's an improvement over Kell Brook versus Brandon Cook. And it's not only an improvement in terms of the quality of the fight, because 
Eubank versus Ryder is better than Brook versus Cook. But it's also an improvement in terms of the profile. Because Eubank Jr., whether you love him or hate him, he's a more exciting name than Kel Brook, in my view. He is a more exciting name. <laughs> People know the Eubank name. He's been on ITV this morning or whatever they call it numerous times and there have been all kinds of controversies and he's had several pay-per-views on ITV now. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's an improvement for the card and I'm very interested to see who Eubank Jr. is going to be fighting. Again, I hope it's Ryder or somebody of that level. If he's just on there to fight any old person, a knockover job, then I won't be too impressed. But even so, the main event is a very, very good fight. You're not going to try to sit there and tell me that Dylan White versus Joseph Parker is not a good fight. And also, Derek Chisora versus Carlos Takam is a very interesting fight too. So, anyway, let me know how you feel in the comments section below, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.